This concerns the explanation of intellectual doubts raised about the belief that Allah the Almighty exists in a place and direction. The first doubt is that those who accept a direction for Allah the Almighty say that since the universe exists and Allah the Almighty exists, there are two existents, which inevitably means they must either interpenetrate or be separate from each other in one of the six directions. Since Allah the Almighty is not interpenetrated with the universe, it is necessary for him to be separate from the universe in a certain direction. Once this is established, it is then necessary for him to be in the upper direction. While saying this, some consider it self-evident, we have discussed this at the beginning of the book, while others try to prove it with evidence. Ibn Sina had chosen this approach in his debate. I will mention 